we've got uh, young Logan on board this morning and uh, we've got Lukey and we're, we're at Limington Marina just setting up some bassing gear mm. what uh, the plan today is we're going to go out and try and catch some fresh mackerel uh, there's, there has been plenty out there so hopefully there's a few today um, the tide is uh, just about to um, start flooding uh, and we're going to head out to uh, a local mark that we go uh, we go fishing. We use a lot of lures on this uh, the mark that we're going to today. Um, but today we're going to be trying something new. Uh, we're going to be trying float fishing. Um, so what we've got um, we've got some catfish floats, 200 gram, as you can see there. Nice and bright, so you can see them. Yeah. Um, we've got some shoal shads because we're going to uh, if we don't catch any mackerel. Um, we're going to be trying those and we're going to try a few of those um, against the live mackerel to see what the uh, comparison is, aren't we? Yeah. So the rods that we're using, this one I, I picked up at a car boot sale for a, it was about five, six pound, which is a ugly stick, travel, uh, splits into three pieces. Um, nice light action on it, as you can see. Uh, it's got enough power there to uh, pick it. Pick yeah. a nice fish up, isn't it? Decent bass, hopefully. And what you got there, Lukey? I've got a pen rough spin, isn't it? Spin. And what's what gauge is that one? There you go. Casting weight is uh, ten to forty grams, and we picked that up from Poindesters. And we've got nice big eyes. Yeah. And we'll show you that. Yeah, there's a minute. reason why we want the big eyes. Yeah. All right. And the reels we are using today, uh, we won at the Sea Angling Classic. Yeah. So these ones, Kaz won. Yeah. We thought we'd get some use out of them. Might as well. Little uh, three thousands. They're nice. Yeah. What make are they? I'm not sure actually. No. Source K. Anyway. Let's give them a go. Let's see, uh, see how they perform today. Mm. And this is the first time you've done this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it should be uh, should be fun. Mm. So we're uh, just uh, just having a, a brew at the moment. And uh, Lukey's about to set up. Yeah. All right. Just setting up the gear, and the reason we have some tape on there is because we have got 20 foot of leader line, and I don't want it to fly off. It tends to do that sometimes. So, just to keep the tension on it. Do you want Logan to help you feed it through? Should be right at the second bit in a minute, definitely. Just get this first one done. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. Nearly lost both floats. Yeah. yeah, that'd be a good idea. Thank you. All right. So all I'm doing is feeding the line up through the eyes. You're setting up the next one, Logan. <laughs> so watch what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> This is very unusual, Luke, isn't it? Setting up the gear in the marina. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Normally it's out when we're driving. So that's all the eyes done. And pull. You've missed one out. No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> that's my trick, that is. <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do now, let's remember. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. some more line out. I'm just going to pull all that off so it's a bit easier and that's why we have such thick eyes ah, because so, of the knot. So you've put, um, so you've, you've got, got your braid. Braid mm. onto the line on. Okay, that's quite a heavy leader line Luke, isn't it? Yeah. Is it because yeah. it's quite a rough bottom is it? Yeah, and that does go through but it makes it an angle there, it doesn't like it. You so, can, could use tapered shock leader if you wanted to. Yeah, but this is around 20 foot so. Yeah. So you've got 20 foot of uh, mono there have you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's lovely. four arm whips and it's around about just just foot, five and a half foot. So just a bit over 20, 20 foot there. Oh, what's that? Your span? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The arms. So you just measure. And what do I need? So this is where you have to find all the bits. All right. Let's get ready. So what I'm going to do. 
we're gonna put a, cut the end off because it's not very nice. There we go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is put a bead on. Like that, and then you've got a float. You get so the float. Gonna, we got a bead, so the bead can't go back down through the eye because it's it's wider. You, you're remembering all this. Yeah. Because I'm not. It's down through the float. Like that. That's a bead, float. Bead, float, and then you're gonna go with another bead. There you go. And then we're gonna go with a, another bead. Another bead? Yeah, doesn't matter what, which colour beads. And we're gonna go with a slider. It's a coxswain rule. Oh, right, okay. That'll go on there. So this is gonna hold your lead, and that will just slide down onto there, and your float's gonna be at the surface. Yeah. And after that one, we're gonna go with a, another bead. You like your beads? Yep. Yeah. Got to have plenty of beads. Let's have a quick look at that. At the moment. That so, is it. So we've got bead, float, bead, bead, slider, bead. There that sounds go. quite good, doesn't it? Bead, float, bead, bead, slider, bead. Trick and make a song out of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, pretty much. Right. Now all I need to do is get the swivels out. And I can't remember where I left them. <laughs> and what do we say about that? How stupid. <laughs> it's always a way. Just grab them. We'll do some pan music while you were waiting. There we go. So what have we got? These are some cocks on roll, rolling swivels. Yeah, they look very nice, don't they? Size four. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's not 15 in the pack because I have been using them. Yeah, because I was 15. And all I'm going to do is tie that straight on to the end. You're just going to do a simple blood knot on that, aren't you? Yeah. Doesn't need to be a fancy knot. Right. It's called a blood knot. Okay. Let's get it now. You oh, can use God. whatever knot you, you, you prefer using. Where's the rig, rig tires? There's Wally's. Where's Wally? There's Wally. Where's Wally? <laughs> There's Wally. Where's, where's Wally? John Skeg's going out, you might be able to hear him. There we are. So all I'm doing is wrapping that round. So I'm not wrapping it round my hand. And then I've got these here little... This clip, just to clip onto the swivels because that's a little bit too big for a swivel. Yeah. And then, do that. Pull it nice and tight. And you can cinch it up. And you can get it nice and tight. Yeah. And you know it's not going to pull. And where do you get it? What are these called? They are. Does that one have a label on? Yeah, nice. yeah. Let's take this off, one second. There we go. So that is a Wally's rig tyre. Yeah, Wally's, uh, Wally's Sharks rig tyres. And it's like a like a thick thick rubber. Or heavy, heavy rubber. And it's quite handy, especially when you're tying braid. Because uh, when you don't want it around your fingers. Can you feel that, Logan? Yeah. yeah. So when you've tied braid, it can cut through your fingers quite easy where that you can wrap it around a few times and just pull it tight and cinch it up yeah so it's nice and easy and now here all we're gonna do we're gonna put a swivel on this is don't know how long this is just around five and a half foot i think yeah and all i've done is got a drift shell shed yeah that's on there on that end and then this end i've just got a clip because if you do catch a bass, it's easy just to unclip, get the rod out of the way, get everything out of the way. It's just much easier. That's why we have a clip. And all that does, just goes on, onto your swivel and does up. Okay, so that's one way. So nice and easy. That's it. Or, if you want to do live baiting, we have this. I made this up the other day. And we've so that's it again, isn't it? Five, five, six foot. Around that, I think this one might be a little bit longer, so the live bait can swim around a bit better. Yeah, undo that. So, yeah, it's just round. 
five, six foot again. It might be a little, bit longer, about seven bit longer, foot. Isn't it? Seven, eight foot, I reckon. Same thing, simple clip. And all that does is clip onto there, and you can fish live baits, you fish dead baits, anything like that. We've got cox and roll. Don't know what it is. I think it's. Is that the octopus? I or? think it might be the octopus hook. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure on that. So we'll have to dig out the packet in a minute. Yeah. What but size it, is it's it? got the barb there. Yeah. And it's circled there, so stop the fish from coming off. Yeah. We've used this a couple of times. Yeah, so. and it has worked. Yeah. It's been quite deadly. Yeah. Right. That's very, pretty much it. Very simple. Right, Logan. There's your rod, set it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we got is a we got a three-piece travel rod here. And this is one I picked up from the car boot sale. So it just goes like that, it's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, they're lovely, I love the old ugly sticks, they're really well made. Quite bulletproof. So we're just gonna set that up. So you get these three three like that. And just make sure they're all in a nice straight line. Which they are. Right. Then I've got thing. You've got to put the... That's it, on this one, it's quite a nice big. There you go. Right. Nice and firm. Yeah. Right, you can undo the... You can undo the tape. Okay. There we go. That goes... Where's that got to go? Oh, has it got to go under the bayonet? Oh, yeah. So it goes underneath here. Should That's it. Walk past quickly. That's it. Through the eye. All good, Luke? Yep, looking good. That's it. Yeah, you side. can thread it up. Need yeah. So we need a stool. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Right, if you want to pull that all the way through. That's it. Lovely. That's, that's job one. So what we got now? Then we have to. There you go, Logan. We've got something for you, mate. A bead. <laughs> so <laughs> bead. Use a black one. Are you in a special order? So we've there got we go. a bead. bead. What else? Go What's next? A float. a float. Got it? Is it the right way around? Yeah. Make sure, is it? Uh oh. Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> we all make mistakes. That's alright. Uh, I must say, I just looked at mine. I did do it the right <laughs> way. <laughs> just making sure. That's it, well done. Then two beads. Two beads, yeah. Two beads or not two beads? Two beads. <laughs> Got it? Go. Well done. And double oh. green. So you've done double next? green, and what's next? There we go. That. Slider. Slider, just see what they are quickly. Got it? So you've got I slider. What we got there, Luke? So these are the Pro Rig sliders from Cox and Roll. That's what we we are using at the moment. All right. What's next? We've used them and they're really strong. We've never lost a lead with them, so they are good. All right. What's next? What is next? Not. It is swivels. The swivels. I need that. Are you tying the knot? As <laughs> <laughs> I say, it's nice I'm and not simple. Too good at knots. So this, all we do is put it through there. Through. Yeah. Through one end. And all, all we do is just so you got it like that. Yeah. One, two, two. three, four. Yeah. And then back up through there. And to be honest, that's all we ever do. Yeah. Bit of a nice saliva. Bit of lubrication. 
And as I say, that's quite tight to pull. Get Again. Out. Got another one out. So you can put that, that goes through there. So that's like that. First time I've ever done it, Dad. And then <laughs> one, two, three, four. So you see where it doesn't overlap? Yeah. A little bit of lubricant. This is nice and easy. See how easy that is? Yeah. Ties the knot. You go like that. Got a little keys there. Nice. Like that. Doing one of them knots, I hit myself on the finger. Now, in extreme conditions, and I and and we're not that sort of fish we're going for anyway. But they can. If you, you can do another knot where it comes up through and they, there's a lot of stronger knots out there and people can use whatever knots they like. I'm not here to teach people how to do knots, yeah. okay, but what I will say, that's the one we use. It's nice and simple. And it hadn't failed me yet, so why overcomplicate things? We, we love these little, these little snap shackle clips, nice and easy to use. And if you can see that on camera, to be honest. We get them off um, eBay, don't we? Yeah. In in the uh, in boxes of uh, sort of fifty at a time. They're great for competition fishing as well because I think we've 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 had a fight. We've got the fish. Bang! That one's out of the way. You get another one and you're back in again. Okay, so you can speed fish with these. If you get tangled up as well, um, it can be handy just to be able to take them off, get them out of the way, and that is it. It's pretty much. Uh, I take that off you, Logan. If you want to reel up there. Yeah, Logan, reel her up. Yeah, so if we just tighten up the. Tighten up the drag. The drag there. That's it. And you reel it up. Keep take going. Take it to the top. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. That'll do you. And then we we'll just come down through. And then uh, we can loop it back up. So what I'll do is what we'll do is um, we'll pull that line. And you can loop it back through. So there. You clip there. And then all you can do is reel it up again. There you go, good loops. Yeah, he's just going to slide off of there, so keep going. Keep it going. Oh dear. That's it. So now we are ready. Ready to go, aren't we? It's all ready to go. Yeah? That's all it is. So that. Clipped on. Goes all the way down. Nice all and simple. Done up. And all it is is put a bait on, I'm stick put that a lead on, and you're ready to go. Right, so we've got two floats set, yeah? Yeah. So that's part one. Oh. Right. Part that's sorry, yeah, that's part one of getting the gear ready. Part two is mackerel, catch some bait. Part three is drift and part four. What's part four? Catch them. Catching. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's, let's go. Ready? ready? Life jackets on now. Some mackerel. That was a bit um, lighter winds than I thought it was going to be here, actually. Yeah. You alright, Logan? Yeah. You going to catch me some mackerel this morning? Yeah. Good. We need to get the pots ready. First, first mackerel. It's alright, straight, straight into the pot. Is that pump on, Lukey? Yeah. Can we just check it's yeah. coming out. 
water's coming out. Yeah, perfect. That's the first done. mackerel. Well done, Luke's. Number one of the day. Right. There you go, another just, three. Just caught some nice fresh mackerel. Just one into the pot. We got one in there, a few in there. Just trying to take one of these out. Do you want to put them in there? Yeah, and... will we? Oh, and we got a. Oh. We got a live one there. There you go. Just to keep that running. Just, to... just leave that in there. Right. Oh, I thought it was your rod then. What is that in? Luke is uh, lazy, fishing. lazy fishing. I think we've got enough mackerel now. Oh, just came off. Oh no, it didn't. It's still on. At least got one on there. Yeah, there perfect. Absolutely perfect bait that is. It's off, Dad. Just go back on. Just flopper. Just run it. Straight down into the bucket. <laughs> oh, almost the bucket. <laughs> almost the bucket. Right. Let's go, uh, let's go batting. Yeah. It's good. And we've got, what are we going to go? We, we had some catfish hooks, didn't we? What? No, dog. Catfish no. hooks, size four. We're going to give those a go. And see how they perform. All right, so all you want to do, get your float with the mackerel on, drop them in, let the line out. And that knot will go through all the eyes. Perfect. And these are away. And that is it. One's away. Right, let's get this other one going. So we've got the mackerel in there. Do you want to hold that a second, Logan, for us? We need to get this in. So already hooked up. Mackerel in. Yeah, there he is, swimming around, nice, nice and happy. Yeah, let's put that in. At least that came up here, mate, so I can see the. That's right. Right now, we're going to just watch the. Float. Yeah, and then just wait. All it is is a waiting game. Oh, waiting game. Is that there for a sec? Got it? Doing a funny drift here, Luke. Yeah, they're sitting really close, aren't they? Yeah. Do we drag set? No. That was quick. I say you make these be a little bit further away next game. Yeah. All right. Just tell us when we're off the edge. We're off the edge of the bank. Fish on, Logan. Slowly, just wind it. Keep winding. That's it. Just keep the pressure, keep the pressure. That's it. Just keep, as you go down, you wind. There he is, there he is, look. Over this way. He's a nice size. Slowly, slowly, that's it. Yeah, bring this left. way, bring this way. In the net. Okay, oh, do you know what else he had there? Yeah, that's my live, that's, that's, that's my your live bait. mackerel. <laughs> he was going for that and yeah. saw the lure. Just stay where you are, Logan. He actually spat that. He spat the oh, hook good. just as we got into the boat. Yeah. What you got? Hey? A bass. A bass, all right. We're just coming into the rough, so yeah, we're just gonna... Do you want to hold that for a second? And we're just... Uh, Tidy up our uh, our lures. Have you still got me there, Dad? I've uh, I've released you. Yeah. We'll pick them up in a minute. That's it, well done, mate. You got your first ever bass. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to get some more, hopefully. Just hold him that way, that's it. He's a nice one, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice release, mate. Well done, Logan. Well done, mate. That's First bass. You want it, you want it yeah. loose? You yeah, want it loose. Happy? 
Yeah. Good. Well done, mate. First of many, let's hope. Right. You hit me the first time, just straight. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's oh, no, it's not. Right, take it. That's it. Right. You just take what you want, okay? Don't bring it up. Is that a bite on that? that? That might have been a bite. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. A bite? On the. Well done. Yeah. Well done, Kazar. Well done, Kaz. The Lure Queen. Have a look at him. Yeah, this is all. Is that a runner? Nice one again, isn't it? Two right. bass now. Uh, we've got the we've had one take on the float on the floats, and we've had two bass on the jigs. on the on the lethal lures, haven't we? Yeah. You alright, Logan? Yeah. It's a little bit um, tricky sometimes fishing here because it gets a bit snaggy on the bottom, so. For one of them to hook. Yeah, and what you get, you get tiny little, couple of little knot, little, little knots. We're just on a lovely bit of ground, just coming over now. So, hopefully, any second, one of these rods are shoot off, a, a bend over. Yeah. As always, they go camera shy. We're right on the right ground now. Oh, it doesn't look like a take on that one, doesn't it? Got on the float. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a cobbing down, wasn't it? Yeah, it can go. I think mine, mine will go as well if it gets a, gets a fish. Come on, fishies. Yeah. I think I need to go back on the lure. Mm. Just dropped off the edge. Oh, that was definitely a take. 100%. Double tapped it. You missed it. Door. Missed it. You missed it. Where did I see it? It's awesome. It's in the boat. Seek the cracker. Crackers. A um, fish. Back the hook. Mm. Fish and crackers. There we go. Right. <laughs> oh, we got a live one here. Look at him. Hey, he's a nice one. Lovely little bass. Let's go and put him back. Do you, do you, like do, him? Do you want to do the picture of the for the hunt? No, he's not. But he's not that big, is he? What is no. he? Let's just have a look. He's only just over forty-five. Yeah. yeah. Let's put him back, yeah? Yeah. Wanna come over here? Watch him go back. Watch him. Ah, lovely. There he goes. Nice and under. That's what you got, Logan? Is he still on there? Yeah, it's like lazy fishing. Wait, what, what does lazy fishing mean, Logan? Do nothing. Oh. Lovely, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring her in. Nearly at the boat. Reel, reel, up. reel up, reel up, reel up, reel up, reel up until it gets near to the beads and stop at the bead. And then lift the rod up in the air and grab, and then the, lead. grab the lead. Oh, get it. That's it, well done. So bring it, swing it over to me slowly. And what you got? You got the scad. What? What's it called? You got to do the scad, scad song? No. Go on. I, don't, I can't remember what it's called. Well, it's very easy, no, the scad no. song, isn't it, Luke? What's oh. the scad song? Scad, scad, scad. <laughs> scad, 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 go. scad, 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 scad. Go on then. He's a nice one, isn't he? Chuck scad back. You chuck him back. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on. All right. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Get poke on my head. Sure, instantly. Look, Lee gone. wanted it, look. Yeah, he, he, saw, he was there from yesterday. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. There he is. No, nice bass. Yeah. 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 Water. Oh, he's lively. Right. I believe he's ready to go. Yeah. That looks Yeah, but make sure you keep an eye on your. We've, uh, the wind's just started to get up, um, so we've decided that we're going to come inshore a bit um, and then uh, we're going to make a move back to the marina. Uh, we've had an absolutely cracking morning this morning. Um, yeah. We haven't we really enjoyed it? Yeah, it's, yeah, really it's good. been good. Yeah. So we've had um, quite a few different species today. So what have you managed to pick up today, Logan? Mackerel, scad, smooth hounds and a bass. Yeah, yeah, very nice too. Nice we had, spot. I don't know if you can hear that, but that wind has slightly picked up a bit. Yeah, that, we're so, finding at the moment, it's still trying to get us. Yeah, so we just uh, snuck in round the back of the needles here, which is a, well, what a backdrop, eh? Yeah. So yeah. even on a, uh, a dull overcast day, but the fishing's been, uh, good. been good, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had so, loads of mackerel as well. Yeah, loads of mackie. No, Topped up the bait up, fridge. I was picking up scad at slap water, Have salted you, ragworm. Yeah. You gonna do the scad song? No. Nah, still no, still won't do it. No, no. <laughs> right, well, until next time. See you guys later. See ya. See ya.